Hello everybody, I'm about to start cooking dinner. Thought you guys would join me. Here we have the beautiful flowers that Greg got me today. And over here is what I leave up here so it reminds me how badass we should be every day. Anyway, we're gonna start off with making the Spanish rice. And that right now, I've got the rice in just three tablespoons of olive oil, okay? And what I'm doing is I'm just kind of toasting the rice. I've got two cups of rice in here right now. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm making it kind of toasty. I'm going to be adding uh, a little bit. Uh, we like garlic around here. So I'm going to go ahead and put the garlic in like that. I'm going to add just a little bit of taco seasoning to it. Not too much because I don't really care for that too much. And then I'm going to add some Mexican oregano, okay? I am going to add a little bit of salt. Now, us Hispanic people, we don't measure every single thing. But to my likings, I'm putting a little salt, not too much, because of high blood pressure around here. So this is going to cook about for about six people right now, okay? So I'm going to kind of toast that up a little bit, just like that, and just kind of back and forth. This feeds quite a few people. This is actually going to feed more than, than six people. Um, and what I do is I kind of do that and kind of keep it nice and toasty. I'll probably turn up the heat just a little bit. I've got it on about halfway. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit because I want to move the... I'm trying to get this going a little faster than, than normal. But... Um, Kind of toast that up a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get some warm water. Fall over here. I'm going to get some warm water. And what you do is you add, not yet. We're not going to add it yet because you want this a little bit more toasty, by the way. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add four cups of water to this. I'm going to add la salsa caliente, but what I'm going to do is I'm using this instead of el pato because they're out of it. Imagine that. Also, in the pantry, I am getting some, hold on a minute, y'all, some tomato sauce, okay? I'm going to add this whole can of tomato sauce and this in with it once I get it boiling. Pause. All right, now we've got it nice and toasty. And now I'm going to add the water. So it sizzles, I'm adding some more water. Because we need four cups. So we got four cups going here. I add el pato or a hot salsa. And then a whole can of tomato sauce to that. And now I'm going to rev it up. It's got to be hot. You got to make it hot. Keeping it hot and real around here. There we go. We are. So now what I need it to do is I need it to boil. So once I get it boiling, I'm going to put this lid over it. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to see how it's boiling. I'm going to put this lid on top. And I want it to get it really hot and I need it to boil. I'm not gonna be stirring it all the time, but I'm gonna be keeping an eye on it so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. So we have to keep stirring it. When, it start, when all the water starts evaporating out of it, that's when you'll start to see uh, that you have to turn it all the way down low and then it will simmer and it'll be ready to go. I'll show you a photo of that here in just a little bit. Thanks. Hey. Okay. I just wanted to start off with making the chicken tacos, okay? Um, what I'm going to be doing is organic uh, breast of chicken. What I do is I slice it just like so. Be careful you don't cut yourself. I take each piece just like so. Cut them like that. Okay, and then what I do is I turn it like this. Okay. Okay. You gotta be careful. I'm used to doing this. So you have to be careful. You gotta make sure your knives aren't dull. Make sure that's all, all good. Cut them into little pieces like so. Oh, and in the meantime, I've got this going over here. 
I've got three tablespoons of, turn that down a little bit. You want to keep that on low while you're uh, making the, getting the chicken ready. And then what I'm going to do, I brought my seasonings over. I'm doing the same seasonings as I did for the Spanish rice. And by the way, the Spanish rice, you see it boiling over there? See how it's boiling? Okay, I'm fixing to go check it here in just a second. So I get that going. I come over here and I just check it and I just kind of, I kind of toss it from the bottom. I kind of turn it like that. Just kind of flip it like that. Let it simmer, let it cook. Let that keep going, that's not ready. Okay, so we've got the chicken here and what I do here with the chicken is I get my garlic and we love garlic. I mean, you can do whatever you want. If you don't like garlic, don't put the garlic in. I got the taco seasoning. We do quite a bit of the taco seasoning now because now we're making the, the tacos, okay? And not everybody likes onions around here, so I don't... So I'm kind of tossing the chicken like this, tossing it like so, kind of getting that ready. Kind of let that simmer just a little bit. I'll add just a little bit of salt to it. And in the meantime, look at my rice going. My rice is going right now. You see that? That's what it's supposed to be doing. So now I'm going to go from the bottom. Come over here for a minute, babe. I'm going from the bottom here up. I'm just taking it just like this. I'm taking it from the bottom and turning it just like that and putting that right back on there. Okay. We still have to let that simmer for a little bit. Now I'm going to take my chicken. Come on over here. I'm gonna take the chicken here and I'm gonna let this cook over here. Now you can put this on the stove. I just, I have this. It should be a little bit hotter. That's okay though. If it's not hot, it's okay. It will get hot. Um, it's just cause I have it and I can use it. Hold on a second. I take a spoon and I kind of spread it around just like that. and that will start to cook. And I go back over here to the rice, and I take it from the bottom. Notice how I'm taking that rice and moving it around. So you've gotta move the rice around, just like that. Okay, nice and hot, put the lid back on. Okay, that must be part two or part three, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna make them low fat tacos with the corn tortillas, and all I do is just kind of, I'm used to doing it so I can do it this way. I mean, it really depends on the person, how they feel about that, but I'm warming those up. The rice is ready, so I turn that off. Guacamole is done. And then, we're getting ready to eat. I make an Asian salad, you know those kits? I just put an Asian salad together. I'm vegetarian, so I'll just do guacamole tacos, and the family will be served. So, if anybody has any questions, let me know, and I'll be posting some more things as we go. Have a good night.